Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to run through the new Mizuno 223. Mm. Uh, middle of the road iron between the 221, the blade, and the 225, the, the formerly HMB. Um, this one, when we done our call with, uh, with Vosh and Dave Matthews, I think they were sort of most excited uh, about, about this one and the advancements in this one from the MMC of the previous generation. Right. Uh, and, and kind of what the, the player will experience when they test this one. Yeah, I can see it being appealing to quite a few people. I think at a dress, it looks really, really good. It is definitely a bit bigger than the blade, but you can see from the cavity, especially in the mid irons, there's probably quite a bit of forgiveness in there. There, there definitely is quite a lot of forgiveness in this new micro slot. Um, we've got, obviously, the chromoly forged. I think that the tagline is from this one is going to be that it's, that it's a kind of a, a hybrid J, a JPX in an MP model. Okay. I yeah. think that's kind of from, from the, the subtext, that's what I gather from it. It has a lot of the performance that people were really admiring about the 921 uh, JPX Forged. Right. Uh, but the compact, you know, the, the split cavity or the MMC, kind of the, the, the formerly middle iron from, from the MP line. Yeah, no, I can see that for sure. We were, we were kind of blown away with the 225 and its yes. performance. I think this one has got a little bit to live up to. Do you have a bit of that sense when we, when I, we I test do. this? I do. I do. It's just, I think, part of it is with that hollow one, I think you could always before go, oh yeah, sure, like the distance performance is all great. Mm -hmm. I don't love the look of that. I don't know if I would play it. Now, not so much. Yeah, so yeah. you're right. With, with this one, it looks great at a dress also, but to be honest, the 225 did. Mm -hmm. And we know it doesn't have quite the amount of horsepower on it yep. that that one did. So, I mean, we'll find out. Maybe there's more to it than kind of meets the eye. And I think that's probably the case. Yeah, and, and it is a bit of a it is a bit of a Swiss Army knife this set. Yeah. Because the lofts are weak like the blade, the mm. two two one, and then they progressively get closer to the two two five. Right. So it does it does evolve and, and kinda of you'll probably find your middle ground if you're not quite a two two one player, you're not quite a two two five player. I think they have got the balance right with the two two three where you can probably find yourself quite nicely nestling into uh, a two two three set, get them on the loft and line machine, get in a gapping session with mm. a a fitter, put your golf ball down and, and start to go through the process of dialing them, dialing them in. Uh, I think that would be the way to maximize the performance out of these ones. Yeah, no, I totally agree. Excellent. Okay, okay. let's get some wedges out there. Uh, a fraction downhill, 140 is about your number, so with the downhill, we should be about right on this. Okay. Good. Love that one. That's good. All right, Matty boy, very nice. Um, I'm going to compare these ones. 105 average ball speed, launch and spinner, nice, nice and tight. Pretty good. I think we were surprised. Maybe it was, um, it, it was maybe a little less mm. of, of the kind of distance you would maybe expect from from the pitching wedge on this set for you. Yeah, very traditional, I guess, in the way yeah. that it, it flights the ball. A um, little bit lower launch, a little bit higher spin. It's cool. It's different. It's not uh -huh. what I expected. But I think maybe that's the way the set is meant to progress so that your shorter irons are a little bit higher spin. Can I steal it one second? Sure. Okay, so made a little adjustment to the loft, put it to 45. Um, let's see how that does. Sure. That's nice. Really strong in flight there. A bit more on it, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Very good. Very good. I mean, to be honest, you finished with three great swings there, but I would maybe maybe like to see uh, a wedge that looked a bit more like that in this set because I think when we do see the performance in the mid irons, we were struggling a little bit with that wedge. Yeah, to get um, the to get the carry distance. Yeah, yep. yeah. I mean, and we've not nudged it by much, but that will in time look like a much more balanced um, yardage relative to what's going to go on around it. Good point. 
So I think when you take away a little bit of that uh, technology that's in that micro slot, uh, make it solid, I do obviously think that it comes with some benefits from a fuel perspective, mm. but maybe there's a little downside in terms of the forgiveness. It's a nice feeling to iron this thing. Yeah. It gets, like it gets a little bit kind of more lively in the mid irons. What did that normalize carry there? 184. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. Absolutely on the money. So you have five more from the downhill, 184. Love it. Good one. Yeah, I love that. Very strong. What, 185 in the normalize there? Exactly that. Uh -huh. Really close in launch and spin though. That, that's interesting, isn't it? 18, 18, exactly the wow. same there. Land angle, hat peak height. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the things we're looking for. I mean, there's guys, there's a real theme, you know, whether you follow this series of videos of the Mizuno irons, we are talking about shot to shot, the ability to be consistent. That's the, differ that's the differentiating factor between a set of irons that really works for someone and, that some that, and a set of irons that doesn't. Mm. Uh, consistency. If it's distance, you need to hit a club more. You know, as as long as they are consistent to one another, yeah. uh, is what we're really looking Absolutely. for. Um, this looks great. And this is where you would have a problem with uh, a wedge that was going too short. Um, right. You know, you're looking at. I mean. 52 yards of difference. Yeah. It's a lot between three clubs. Yeah, because you don't you only have the nine and the, uh, mm -hmm. the eight to fill that gap. Yep. It's really nice in the yeah. mid -hour. Like, really, really nice. Okay, let's hit the four. That felt nice. That's pretty. I'm happy with that. That's a lot. It's a lot of ball speed. The seven iron and this, they really. I mean, I, I would probably be my only criticism is the same as what you said with the wedge. Yeah. The wedge just doesn't quite feel like it suits the set or it fits the set. Different, obviously different construction in the head, and you can tell it. You can hear it. You can hear uh, it. You can. You really can. Um, Absolutely. Well, as soon as you hit the seven, you're like, oh, that's got some yeah. kind of hit to it. And then. Uh, same here. The wedge doesn't quite sound quite as as solid, and yeah, maybe there is something with the loft just to you know, get it to kind of play a little bit more in keeping with the rest. Definitely. Yeah, That's strong. Almost the same. Really strong. That was kind of the one I was describing at the start. You know, you probably, you know, if you turn it a little bit, you end up kind of a bit back right. Still yeah. in really good shape. Um, it's a very quick iron. This exceptional. Is... Am I correct in when we reviewed MMC, it was, I know it was a while ago, you liked it, but it wasn't the fastest for yeah, ball speed. Absolutely. Like you felt yep. maybe in fits, people liked it for a lot of reasons, but it kind of lacked this. It did. It seems like they've addressed that quite nicely, absolutely. haven't they? Absolutely. Absolutely. This is great. It's I mean, about as good two forearms as I've, I've ever hit, to be honest. Okay, let's, let's hit the cut and let's see what we can do with that one. Okay. Really soften one in there. Oh. Okay, it's moving a couple yards at least. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to impress anybody. It's but a Mac voucher special, but it's it's the right shot. It's pretty damn good. I mean, I'd love you to. I'd love to see that was the stock one you played because you probably in that instance would be between clubs a little bit with Definitely. this set. Definitely. Yeah. Um, you know, if we're talking, you know, getting it get it close, it depends on where you are. But from a proximity standpoint, you probably are. That's the closest way you'll get it to the flag, 15 feet. Yeah, soften the uh, the carry distance just that little bit. Yeah, it's a really, really nice set. Obviously, you know, you saw us highlight the, the wedge uh, for us, which is, you know, something that, again, that's that's already a little a little nugget that, that we all need to remember yeah. uh, internally. You know, I'll, I'll kind of leave a, a note for our guys that, um, you know, depending on the player, uh, if, if the player tends to be somebody who gets quite a lot out of the short irons, you're probably okay. Totally. If you maybe uh, are, are a little bit on the shallow side with a higher dynamic loft, this is going to have to be a slightly stronger wedge for that type of totally player. Totally agree. I like the idea of what they did, don't get me wrong. Like I like that it progresses into that smaller compact shape. It's, a lot of that is good and that it maybe spins a bit more than the other ones, but I, I think 
because the ball speed doesn't come from the technology, yep. just adding it back with the loft was perfect solution. Definitely. A uh, little note on the shaft. Hmm. Uh, Project X and the other two, which which felt, you know, I certainly for me the LS uh, was a little bit on the stout side. It, it kind of took me a, a little bit of time to get into that one. The Modus 115 took a bit of work for you. It was a bit on the smoother side. Yeah. Uh, so again, you felt you probably had to work to, to, you know, time it up. Probably just a little bit, yeah, not suitable to my timing. Yeah. But I think, as I said, once you hit one really well, it, it complements the head quite nicely. Definitely. But lots of players, like we were saying, lots of players will fit in nicely to this. Definitely. Uh, from a speed standpoint, maybe the, you know, 84 mile an hour seven iron player mm. i think is going to love the feel of this one be a perfect fit when yeah. yeah i think this as we said with the whole line you kind of feel like you've got the aftermarket product already guys um we're really impressed uh kudos to mizuno they, they don't they don't fail they don't let us down uh and more importantly they don't let you guys down when it comes to uh releasing these these products the new mizuno pro line is exceptional um, fitting of, of the, the brand that is held in, in mm. you know, Japan where the, the company are based. Uh, it's a nice, nice performance with the reintroduction of the Mizuno Pro name. Yeah, no, I couldn't agree more. Done it very, very well. Okay, guys, uh, stay tuned. We're going to still do some stuff with the long irons, the driving right. irons, the two irons. Uh, so stay tuned for those reviews. We will see you again soon.